Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, what are the energies between you, and what can you expect in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's jump right in for Cancer. For the sign of Cancer, what messages, what guidance do you have? For the sign of Cancer regarding love, what do we need to know? For Cancer, what do we need to know for Cancer? Okay. Per current energies and what you can expect, we have temperance, the moon, so Sagittarius energy, Pisces energy with the moon, and the Knight of Wands. Interesting because the moon is what's not seen, it's all about what's hidden under the surface, things that are, aren't very clear. So when I see it with something like the Knight of Wands, which is quick action, or things happening in a fast, passionate way, because the Knight of Wands is very passionate and motivated, I think that maybe you might not see this action coming. We'll see. On your side, we have the world and the Empress. Wow, beautiful energies. And then on their side, we have, oh, I almost dropped my tripod. The High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you don't know what this person is up to or what they're feeling, but that Five of Swords is making me a little bit nervous. And then for your future energies, I'll just put these down here and we'll flip them later on. So bottom of the deck overall energy for this reading is a Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability, long-term commitments, success over time. This is a card also about family, generations, uh, financial stability. So this is probably what you want, what you're working for. Some of you, a small number of you, were probably already married to this person or had a family with this person. But I don't want to jump into that until I actually see the cards here. Now you have the world and the empress. So I think of you as picturing a new cycle or or ending a cycle to begin a more prosperous cycle. Uh, maybe if you are thinking about new beginnings, it's with this um, energy of growth and creativity, something very beautiful being manifested, abundance, etc. What else do we need to know about these energies for Cancer Spirit? What else do we need to know about these energies? For cancer regarding love. Past life, okay. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Restoring balance. So past life is all about past life connections, situations from the past, uh, histories, memories, with a particular person. Restoring balance is making me think of temperance because temperance is all about bringing two very different things together over time. And that creates balance. Hmm. I still feel like I'm not getting that full picture just yet. We have the true love energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is a very strong connection, a special connection, Cancer, that you might have had with someone from the past or with a past life person. Let's see. Let me get some more. Spirit, can I get some more insight on this situation for Cancer? What do I need to know? What do I need to know, Spirit? What do I need to know? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So trust is an issue here. I feel like you have trust issues or this other person has trust issues when it comes to like opening themselves to the idea of a connection with you or something like that. So let's see, let me get a kipper as well. 
Anything else that we need to know, Spirit? Anything else that we need to know or consider for Cancer? For Cancer regarding love. Main female and sudden wealth. Okay, so right away I think about the Empress. These two cards together, I think about the Empress. Sudden wealth is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. It's like a lucky break, being lucky or fortunate. So let's clarify some of this energy here so we can get some insight into what, what is going on for you in love. Let's start with temperance. Clarity, please, guidance for cancer stuff. I don't need to know. I don't need to know. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Eight of Wands. Action, communication. Why is temperance here? The chariot. There you are, Cancer. So I feel like there's some sort of movement that someone's making. Reminding me, it's reminding me of this Knight of Wands. I feel like someone I f is is making a move towards you, or vice versa. And there's temperance again at the bottom of the deck. Whatever move or communication or action that this is with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot, there's a purpose behind it. It's to bring something back into balance, to work something out. There's, I feel like this is someone who maybe waited before taking this action because temperance is all about patience and moderation. Tell me about the moon. Why is the moon here? Justice, sleeper energy. Why is the moon here? Again, with the balance, restoring balance, some sort of legality issue or um, something that's fair, right, just. But it's with the moon, two of swords. I feel like, yeah, and there's a blindfold on both of these, um, not in these two cards specifically, because this design is different, but in the traditional tarot, both of these women are wearing blindfolds. I don't know why I have to look at Justice right now. Hang on one second. <laughs> I feel like I have to confirm that, but I already kind of know in a way. Okay, so Justice is not wearing a, a blindfold in the traditional tarot. I made that up. But in this, in this card, her eyes are closed. That's kind of what I... That's why I was thinking that, that her, car, her eyes are closed. Anyways, why am I harping on about that? Because I feel like there's there's this element of like unknown where you can't see, where you don't know, Cancer. With the moon, the high priestess, and now these two blindfolded or blind ladies. <laughs> um, and also just as I think of like the woman holding this, I think that's where that came from. The woman holding the scales, that image, she's typically blindfolded because the whole point of why is the blindfold important? Because the whole point of justice is that you're not emotionally invested. You don't even need to see the person in front of you. You just need to look at the facts. You need to just look at the truth. And that's how you arrive at your decision. And it ends up being fair because you are being objective. Anyways, let me not like get into that. Two of Swords is all about a difficult decision as well. Um... Someone could have been, you know, unable to see something so they weren't able to make the right decision or someone doesn't know all of the facts, doesn't know everything that they need to know before making a decision, etc., cetera, et cetera. My mind is processing all of this as I kind of like look at all these energies. Um, but I feel like I'm missing something. There's the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Also, her eyes are closed. She looks like she's sleeping. And this is a card about reflection, rest. There's no action or communication happening with the Four of Swords. I feel like there's something you don't know. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out why. Maybe because, maybe that's why this is going to be 
happening quickly or appears to be happening impulsively with the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What do we need to know about the Knight of Wands? Seven of Cups. What do we need to know about the Knight of Wands? I feel like someone made a choice to take this particular action. And when I say someone, I, I mean you or this other person because both of your energies are here. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like someone's following their heart here. Whatever decision they're making, it's an emotional decision or a decision where their emotions are kind of involved with the King of Cups. Hmm. Let's jump down to your energies because still I feel like I am just slowly piecing together a story. We got the Animal Spirit deck. Tell me more about the energies between Cancer and this other person. Cancer, I have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you because the energies can be vice versa. Tell me about Cancer's energy. Okay, that's way too many. The Swan, interesting. Tell me about Cancer's energy when it comes to this person, this connection. The frog, healing, renewal. Yeah, and there's the moth. So the moth is about illusions, like something that draws you in. You know, you might even think that something is, that, that something's greener on the other side because there's an illusion there. Impulsiveness, right, with the moth. Like um, that whole um, quote, uh, drawing as if a moth to a flame. Okay, tell me about this other person. I'm starting to pick up, Cancer, that some of you feel like you made a mistake with this person or even being with this person might have been a mistake or you made a mistake in the past relating to this person. Tell me about this other person's energies. The raccoon, yeah, they're hiding something. And I don't know why. There's the fox. It's like there's a purpose as to why they are not being open with you about something. And I'm not sure why. Let's get the Hidden Truth Oracle. Tell me about this person's energies towards Cancer. Tell me about this person's energy spirit towards Cancer. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I am not available. So maybe they are busy or involved with someone else. Bottom of the deck, I look for you everywhere. Interesting. Is this a third party situation? Is that what this decision is about? This choice? Hmm. I am concerned. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's a trust issue here. Maybe you are not thinking that it's safe for you to love or it's safe for you to trust this person because there's still another person interfering. Let me know if that's the case in the, in the comments below. Tell me more about this person's energies towards cancer. You matter to me. This is very interesting energy. Bottom of the deck, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Yeah. They're not telling you something, but I'm not sure why. I mean, maybe they're afraid of your reaction because they're coming in to take some sort of action here with the chariot, the eight of wands, that's focused on this energy of like restoring balance, making things right. So I, I have this feeling that there things are not right between you right now. Maybe there's a conflict between you, some sort of um, separation or just, distance tell me about the world and the empress you're focused on a new cycle a new beginning tell me about the world and the empress what do we need to know about these energies for cancer page of swords two of cups and the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so cancer what i'm getting here is that you just want to know the truth you feel like you're owed the truth or you just want to talk about this connection but i feel like from the 
point of view of you recognize your worth or you have an idea of what you want and you don't want anything less than that. I think you want clarification to make this, I don't know, it's like you just need to know if, you know, what the answer is about something. Is an offer coming? Knight of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the world and the Empress? I feel like this is about coming together, but I'm not sure. It's like maybe you want to discuss the potential for a reunion or you want to know if that's even possible. Tell me about the world and the Empress. Yeah, the Five of Wands, because there's some sort of conflict here. It's like you need reassurance or you need the truth about something. And this person, I don't think they're giving it to you. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Maybe they're dealing with their own conflict outside of you that is keeping them from being open or honest with you about something. Or maybe they're just purposefully not telling you something. I can interpret that both ways here. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the High Priestess. Okay, I'm hearing distraction. Okay, tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. The High Priestess, again. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Fear, anxiety. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. There's the star. Okay, it's very interesting because it's almost like they're thinking about an offer or, or um, giving you an offer, Cancer, but they don't want to tell you everything that goes with that. Or they're hiding something else due to fear. I think this person is afraid to speak up or bring this offer or afraid to tell you the full truth about something. It, I, honestly, it could go either way here. Because we're not getting... The energies that are on the table right now, the tarot cards that are here, that's as far as the interpretation can go. Obviously, you guys have your own stories that, you know, individual stories where it might make more sense to you. But based on these energies, I feel like the High Priestess is here twice because something is not being communicated or there's some sort of secret. It could even be outright deception. Can I get one more for this High Priestess? Can you tell me more about the High Priestess? So that makes me question these offers because why are they hiding this? Six of Wands. Okay, so they want success and hiding this would ensure success in some way. The Magician at the bottom of the deck and the Higher Font. Taurus energy, Ace of Pentacles after that. The Hierophant is all about um, commitments, doing the right thing. After that, the Devil, Capricorn energy. I think this person, this is the way they've chosen to go about things. They've chosen to go this route because in their mind, they will be successful if they do this. It's very strange. So let's look at future energy. We have Strength, Leo, Energy, the Emperor, Aries, Energy, and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this is somebody that is wanting to bring things under control, especially the Strength card in the Emperor. This is someone that is focused on um, making sure that they get this Ten of Cups at all costs. You know, they're, they're especially Strength, because Strength is all about using a different approach to get to, to get what you want. And it takes a very specific type of strength and courage. Let's clarify these energies down here. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here for cancer? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, to hold on to something so that they don't lose something. Tell me about the Emperor. Emperor and Empress on the board. Hmm. Again, I feel like this is a strong connection, but I don't think that's the problem. Tell me about the Emperor. Four of Swords. Interesting. Tell me about the Emperor. That is not really Emperor energy, so that's interesting to me. Tell me about the Emperor. The Knight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like, again, it's it, these are opposite energies. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords. 
So what that tells me is that this person is just willing to do whatever it takes. And um, they have a message to bring to you. Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands with the Chariot. That makes sense. Can I get some more insight into this Knight of Swords? Queen of Wands. Okay, so I'm not really getting clarity here about this message. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I might have to extend this to get some more insight into what the heck is going on here. Because I feel like this person, there's a point to all of this. There's a reason they're doing all of this. They want something, Cancer. And I'm not sure if you even know about what everything, like everything that's going on. I feel like you're in the dark. And I don't know if you're in the dark for a good reason or a bad one. I, I really can't tell you. I'm going to have to get to the bottom of that in the extended. Find out exactly what this person could be hiding. And again, with the moon here, I have the six of pentacles. I mean, not the six of pentacles. The justice card with the two of swords. Sorry, I'm thinking about balance. So it's like they're hiding something or something's hidden from you. And it's like, it's okay to hide this from you in order to get this balance or something like that. Or they're hiding something or keeping something buried to, to keep things afloat, to keep things in balance. I don't know, it's really strange. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Death and uh, Three of Wands, Scorpio energy. Changes endings with death card. Three of Wands is all about waiting for a result. Okay, so maybe someone's waiting for something to end or change to have this Ten of Cups. But again, I just don't understand what's so hard about saying that. What's so hard about just telling you the truth? If they're not available, if this person is not available, do you know that already? Let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you. Do you already know if this person is not available? And if you already know that this person is not available, have they made you any sort of promise about that changing in the future? Because if they have, I feel like they've made you a promise, but they haven't told you all of the details behind that promise or behind this, I'm not available. It's like when you ask questions, they tell you, but you matter to me, Cancer. You matter to me. Why do you need to know the specifics? Because the specifics matter, right? So this is very interesting. I feel like, hmm, I feel like you want to talk about your connection and your person knows that. They know that this is what you want to discuss because you want to know about the future of this connection. And I feel like these offers or promises meant to be a distraction because they don't want to tell you everything about the future of this connection. That's kind of what I'm picking up. And I feel like they know they have to be honest with you with the Knight of Swords. Instead, they're this Four of Swords, crickets, quiet. You know, this Emperor is thinking about what to do. I'm gonna to have to clarify this too and get some more answers about that. Because I feel like this person's definitely gonna make a move towards you with the Eight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Wands. And they're doing this because they have a goal in mind. I just don't think that their goal and your goal align. So I'm going to take this to the extended if you want more clarity about what the heck is going on with this secret or whatever is hidden and their next actions. What are their true intentions towards you? Because I feel like we're missing a lot here. So the extended will be linked in the description box. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy how I read and if you enjoyed the reading. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.